Welcome back, Odoers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite apps, subscriptions. Why is it my favorite, you ask? Well, you know, at Stealthy Wood, we love keeping our customers happy and returning, and their business recurring. Subscriptions are products or services that customers pay for and receive on a recurring basis. We use Odoo Subscriptions app to run all recurring business at our company. This includes things like selling new contracts, upselling customers, and keeping churn under control, and even more. So today we're going to go over the basics of how to set up a recurring service and how to sell it. Our customer in this case is Bailey Builds, and they're interested in learning how to make their own furniture. We love the spirit of learning here, so we're actually offering furniture building classes to our customers. These are going to be monthly classes, so we're going to need to create a recurring product and subscriptions quotation. Because Odoo is so great at connecting all that different functions of our business, you can actually create subscriptions in different apps wherever you happen to find the products page. But like the title says, we're going to focus on subscriptions today. So the subscriptions app is our key focus. Anyways, enough chit chat. Let's get started. On the subscriptions dashboard, we have an overview of all of the subscriptions inside of our company. Our view happens to default to the in progress or paused filter up at the very top meaning the subscription quotes have been confirmed and or invoiced. If I want to see all subscription plans, including those that haven't been confirmed, just want to click on that little X right there and boom, we can see all the quotations. So we're actually going to create a new one. So we're going to select new up at the top left and we need to add our customer. And that happens to be, as I said before, Bailey builds. So we're going to select her right there. So from here, it looks like any other sales quotation form. Now the magic though, it happens when we set up a recurring plan which specifies that the quotation is for a recurring product. You can do that directly right here. As you can see right here, we have recurring plan. So we can choose between the default monthly if we wanted to, or also a yearly option as well. Or if we wanted to, we could search for more in case there happens to be more recurring plans on the back end. But for now, we're going to select monthly. Perfect. So with a recurring plan, we also need a recurring product. So over here in the products lines, we're going to add a product right there. And then what do we want? We want a furniture building class, which I mean, it doesn't exist yet. Since it's a brand new offering and I have a few things to configure, we're going to select create and edit. All right, here we are. So this has revealed a pop-up product form. And as you can see, the subscriptions checkbox already checked off automatically, which means this is already a recurring product. So to set this class up as a monthly recurring product, we're going to head over to the recurring prices tab over here. And we're going to get started by adding a price rule. So for ours, I'm going to select the drop down right there. Once again, it's a monthly one. And then the price is going to be 120 bucks USD. So we're going to now click save and close. And we're back over here to our subscription quotation. So there are a lot of cool features that you can use to configure subscriptions. If you want to learn more about those features and selling subscription products, check our links below. But anyways, back on our quotation, we can actually configure some rules for the subscription. First, we need to look over here at the payment terms that we have right there. You have a lot of options. These tell a customer when they're going to need to make a payment. Ours is going to be immediately. They need to pay us immediately. But I'm going to give Bailey some time to review her quotation. So let's set our actual expiration up at the top to the end of the month, which happens to be Halloween. We're very generous. All right, perfect. Now for the recurring plan itself. I know Bailey has a yearning for learning. So I'm going to keep the second field that represents the end date that we have over here blank. That means that the monthly classes do not have an end date because I want to encourage Bailey, however, to promote our class and entice others to maybe sign up. I'm also going to set up some sort of a discount for students, a student discount. So let's manually save our quotation with our cloud icon. And now we're going to go back up to the top to products, price list, and then select the word new. Okay, what should we call this one? New student pricing. Very elegant. So because this is for a subscription product, I'm going to switch over again to the recurring prices tab over here. So from here, I can select the products that I want for special pricing. So let's create some discounts for our brand new Furniture building class, and it's already there. Perfect. And our recurring plan is monthly. And then the price, what are we going to discount it to? Well, here, I'm going to set it down to $100. Okay, it's a discount. 
So I also really want customers to sign up for yearly plans. So I'm going to create a separate line for that. Once again, same product, this time yearly. What should we price it at? 900 bucks. We're making these up as I go. So I'm gonna manually save this new price list right there. And then I think it's time for us to head back to our subscriptions quote, which you can get to by selecting subscriptions, quotations. Here is our quotation and there we go. So to get her the discount that we just configured, I'm gonna head over to the price list field right there where it says default and select the new student pricing. But oh look, it hasn't changed. Is that an no dupsy? It isn't. We just select update prices right there. Okay on the confirmation prompt. Discount is now present. Beautiful. Our very first student is happy. So this quotation now looks ready to go. So let's select send by email. Now what's happening on the back end when I do that? So from here, Odoo will populate an email template with the quotation as an attached PDF right there. I can customize the body of the message however I'd like if desired. We can add emojis if we want to be professionally unprofessional. Anything you want. I'm going to leave everything as is except for that smiley and we're ready to send this off. So after I hit send over here, I might not know what this looks like to a customer and I'm worried. So I can go see it with this preview button up at the top. And when I select it, I could see what Bailey sees in her customer portal. In addition to reviewing the quotation, she can also review past messages with communication history or write her own directly on the quote. And when she's ready to go, she can go ahead, and select that sign button, or maybe she wants to hit the reject one, but she can also do her own. So let's accept and sign this. Look, that's Bailey's plagiarized signature. And we're ready to go. And like with any quotation, once it's confirmed, Odu turns it into a sales order. So once that this is all done and everything is already in set to go, we can head back over to our subscriptions. So let's go back home. And then as you can tell right there, it's now a sales order. And then if we wanted to, we can go beyond this and we can select a few other options. We can create the invoice and then we can create our draft right there. And then we could confirm this. And at this point, she's ready to go. Since this is a monthly recurring subscription, the invoice shows how long Bailey can use the service until she has to make another payment, which happens to tell us the dates down there below for the subscription period. And if we really wanted to, like in our case, if I head back to the sales order, which is via the breadcrumbs right there, you can also check when the next invoice will be sent out inside of our next invoice field. And that's your first subscription sale. So the subscriptions app, it has a lot more features on how we can maintain and track our recurring products as you saw. To learn more about subscriptions like upselling, renewing, setting up automations, please check out our other tutorials. Thanks for hanging out today, Odoers. I'm going to polish up on my lecturing skills, but I'm gonna catch you in the next tutorial. So I'll see you later, go grab a snack. Today I'm feeling healthy, so it's an apple.